All right, what we're going to do with this problem is we're going to solve this logarithmic equation using your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. And uh, what we want to do is graph these guys. So go ahead and hit the Y equals button. If you are using a TI-83, when you put your graph in your, uh, to equation 1, log base 13 of x squared plus 2 is going to go in like this. Log x squared plus 2 close parentheses divided by log 13 and this is the change of base formula this is how you would graph with the change of base formula okay if if you are uh, on an 84 with the math print feature then you can go ahead and hit um, alpha window and that bottom choice 5 is going to take you to the logarithm uh, set, and so you can just hit that bottom, you hit the alpha window. It brings up the template, and then you can just type in 13 here, and then arrow key to the right, and type in x squared plus two. And so that's how that's how this equation would look in change of base on top, and with math print on the bottom. Okay, so if you have an 83, you have to put it in like on Y1. If you've got an 84, you can put it in like it is on Y2. Okay, same thing for the right-hand side of this equation. If you have an 83, you would do log 9x plus 2, close parentheses, divided by log 13. Okay. If you have an, if you have an 84... Then you would go ahead and hit alpha window and then go down and choose log base, which is that option number five, log base. Not absolute value. And then you would put in 13 and then 9x minus 2, or 9x plus 2. Now, so that I don't mess up my problem, I'm going to go ahead and turn off a couple of the logs. It doesn't matter which ones. Um, and you can turn those guys off by just hitting the um, equals bar and taking the highlight off. So if I hit this guy and if I hit this guy, we'll be okay. Now graph it. And you can see my graph window is really uh, a large graph window because a logarithm grows, grows really, really slowly. And to find out where these two guys intersect, this window is probably not ideal to use. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and hit the zoom 6, which takes me to a standard 10 by 10 window. And then it should show me both equations. And you can see right in there, you got two separate lines. Uh, you know, you can barely make out the two separate lines in here. If you would like to have a little bit more definition and see these lines a little bit easier, you can change the window that you're looking at. And so maybe on your window, uh, let your x min and x max go from negative 6.6 .6 to positive 6.6. .6. And that should give us just enough um, of a change to be able to see these graphs a little bit easier so that's setting it up on the 83 and on the 84 okay it'll be a lot easier for your particular calculator because you won't be doing all of those things and then the points of intersection it looks like they uh, there's a point of intersection along the y-axis okay so hit second trace and choose choice 5 which is the intersect option and what we need to do, since, since it looks like there's maybe two points of intersection, we need to move that spider close to the first point of intersection on the y-axis. And that's where it is. The spider's blinking at us, so hit enter. And it automatically goes to the second curve, and it, it's also very close. Hit enter. And it'll ask you to guess. Hit enter one more time. And so the point of intersection is the x-coordinate. We're re that's what we're concerned with because our equation says x squared plus 2 and 9x plus 2.
Y is not important to us right now. The X value is. So the one of the solutions is when X equals zero. Okay. To find the second solution, go ahead and hit second trace again. Choose intersect again, and you can either arrow key down to it or choose five. And then you have to move the spider close to that other point of intersection. So go ahead and arrow key to the right. And get, just get that spider close to that second point of intersection. And, and once you get close, uh, go ahead and hit enter to choose it. And then move, and then the spider should pop up next to that same place. If it doesn't, just arrow key to the right so that your spider is close to that second point of intersection. And go ahead and hit enter one more time. And then for the guess, hit enter one more time. And then your second solution is nine. Okay. And again, we're just interested for this particular problem. We're only interested in the x value. Y is important. We don't need it right now. We just need that x. And so that's how you're going to do this on your, that's how you're going to use a logarithmic function and find a solution between those two expressions. Okay.